Hi, I'm Steve Layton. Today we're at the Concord de Elegance, the Inn at St. John's in Plymouth, Michigan, walking around Tucker number 1043. This is the best example of a Tucker in the world. And uh, Mark Lieberman of Nostalgic Mode Ring restored this car a few years ago, and then it went through an auction where it sold for $2.915 million, which set a record, meaning that this is the most expensive, most valuable Tucker in the world. And the reason why is this Tucker has been restored perfectly. <laughs> you don't get any better than this. So as you know, the Tucker is rear engine, rear wheel drive. The engine's right there. We'll take a look at that in a second. It's a 335 cubic inch opposed six cylinder, which was originally designed for a helicopter. Uh, it was built by a company named Air Cooled Motors. Uh, ironically, this one though does have a water jacket and a radiator. Put out 167 horsepower, which was then run through a four speed pre-select transmission. We'll take a look at that as well. And it's uh, sitting on a four wheel independent elastic suspension of Tucker's own design. So this car is unusual in a lot of ways. A lot of features were ahead of their time. And of course, some are just different, like the Cyclops headlight, which did turn with the steering wheel on occasion and would help illuminate the roadway ahead of you, especially as you went around corners. Um, this car, like I said, is as clean as you can get one. You'll notice there's even a Tucker symbol in the hubcap. Um, and a few other places in the car. Gas tanks up front, so this car's got the optional radio. Uh, very, very clean and simple control panel and dashboard in the car. It only has 8,152 miles on the odometer. There's the optional radio, says Tucker down the buttons, and the four-speed shifter for the pre-select transmission. Uh, padded dashboard, a lot of room in this car. Could easily send six people down the road in comfort uh, and no seat belts, by the way. In case you're curious, a lot of people think these cars had seat belts. The one thing Tucker did not get put in the cars. Suicide doors. Uh, and then we've got these functional air scoops on the fenders that do run clean air into the engine compartment to cool the engine off and then out through the radiator in the back. This engine is immaculate. Take a look how clean this thing is. Uh, you'll notice that it has the Tucker manifolds with the name emblazoned across the top. And a 6-volt battery on the right-hand side. The car's got a 6-volt system like a lot of them did back in the day. And there's the transmission sitting in front of the engine. But, of course, this whole setup is in the rear of the car, which made the car very advanced for its time. Also gave more leg room to the passengers because there was no transmission hump running down the middle of the car. Very, very well lit out here on the golf course. We can see in here really, really well. I love these shots deep inside the engine compartment of Tucker number 10. 43. This is only one of 23 cars we think that exist today with the original engine. So that's another reason that the price was uh, so astronomical when it went through the auction and sold for almost $3 million. There's a safety crash compartment where if you're a passenger, some people suggested you could duck down in there and possibly uh, do better in an accident. We're not sure about how well that would work, but hey, <laughs> we like the thought process. And then, of course, here's the trunk in the front. And the data tag that shows, in fact, this is 1043, serial number, and the style number, body number, paint number, all of that. So, again, this is, without question, the best Tucker in the world, Tucker number 1043. Thank you to Mark Lieberman for bringing it to the show uh, and Nostalgic Motoring that restored it. And I hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Beautiful car. Thank you. Use it in good health. Thank you.